Celebrities speak on Slim 400 passing away. Young and up-and-coming rapper Slim 400 had just finished paying tribute to his fallen comrade Young Dolph when he was targeted in a homicide attempt. Unfortunately for the rap community, the 33-year-old was shot and killed. Welcome to Lime Report. Today we'll be telling you everything you need to know about this situation, one detail at a time, so be sure to pay close attention. Before we get into this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword 400 for a chance at winning our giveaway. Now back to the video. Slim 400 400 was born as Vincent Cochran on June 21, 1988 in Frankfurt, Germany to military parents before moving to Los Angeles, California as a child. He was known for rapping songs about his time on the streets of LA, including his hit song Bruisin', which featured YG and Sad Boy Loco. Compton rapper Slim 400 was fatally shot in California on Wednesday evening, police confirmed to ABC News he was 33. The shooting occurred hours after the hip-hop artist shared a tribute on Instagram to fellow rapper and collaborator Young Dolph, who was shot and killed last month while visiting a bakery in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Police confirmed on Thursday afternoon that Vincent Cochran, Slim 400's legal name, was shot around 7.50 p.m. local time along the 8600 block of 7th Avenue in Inglewood. Inglewood police patrolling the neighborhood heard gunshots and responded, finding Cochran down on the ground suffering from a gunshot wound, according to a spokesman for the Inglewood Police Department. Emergency medical aid was administered to the rapper and he was then transported by LA County Fire Department personnel to a local hospital where he died. As of Thursday afternoon, police said no arrests had been made and the investigation is ongoing. Newly released surveillance footage captured the chilling moment a gunman strolled up to rapper Slim 400's LA driveway and shot him eight times, killing him. The grim black and white footage, whose authenticity has been confirmed by police, shows an unidentified gunman pulling up to the rapper's Inglewood driveway with a gun in his hand and approach a parked vehicle where Slim 400 was seated. The gunman was captured firing at the rapper three times as Slim 400 lunged at the shooter as they stepped back. As he is being shot, Slim 400 looks to be reaching or holding on to the gun or to the shooter's arm. The gunman continues to shoot the rapper who keeps moving towards the street before he flees the scene. The execution came just hours after Slim 400 released a new music video for the song Caviar Gold and follows a brush with death in 2019 when the rapper was shot eight times. Separately, Slim 400 has also feuded with snitch rapper Takashi69 and got into a public shouting match with him in 2018. Hours before Cochran was killed, he shared a screenshot originally posted by one of his fans to his Instagram stories of the cover art for his 2019 song Shake Back, featuring Dolph along with the letters RIP. The cover art includes an image of a tombstone displaying the names of both rappers, and amid the news of Cochran's death, it has been shared widely in hip-hop circles, as fans noted the eeriness of the image after both rappers' deaths. He was signed by the now-defunct label Pushes Inc., and is best known for his 2015 album Faux Block. On Wednesday, hours before his death, Slim 400 released the video for his new song Caviar Gold, which appears to reference a brand of high-THC cannabis products. Slim 400 is also known for his association with the rapper YG, collaborating with him and Sad Boy Loco on the 2016 single Bruisin'. Slim 400 also feuded with Takashi69 and got into a shouting match with him outside the Hyatt Regency in Long Beach in November 2018, according to TMZ. The two could be heard yelling at each other in a video, and at one point, Takashi's security detail had to hold him back and rush him off before things could spiral out of control. Both Dolph and Cochran had been targeted and shot in previous years but had survived. Cochran shared a video last week paying tribute to Dolph in an Instagram post saying Dolph was the first artist that showed love when Cochran was injured in 2019 after reportedly being shot nine times. Cochran reflected on the shooting in an interview with TMZ in July of 2019 saying that he feels blessed for surviving. Before he was killed, Dolph was shot in Los Angeles in September 2017 and earlier that year in February, his SUV, which he said 
had bulletproof panels, was shot at more than 100 times in Charlotte, North Carolina. The shooting inspired one of Dahl's most popular songs, 100 Shots, which is the first track on his 2017 album, Bulletproof. As of Thursday afternoon, Memphis police told ABC News that no arrests had been made linked to the killing of Dolph, and the investigation is ongoing. Cochran was known for collaborating with artists like Compton rapper YG, who worked closely with his fellow California rapper Nipsey Hussle, who was shot and killed in 2019 in his Los Angeles neighborhood of Crenshaw. Both rappers have chronicled their experiences in their lyrics and reflected on how gun violence has touched their lives, and Cochran shared a tribute to Hussle on Twitter on November 1st. Over the past few years, several notable rappers have been shot and killed, including Nipsey Hussle, Pop Smoke, Mo3, King Von, and XXXTentacion. Singers Ty Dolla Sign, Lil Yachty, and Vince Staples have paid tributes to the fallen rapper. Let's hope this violence comes to an end soon before we lose any more people. That's all for this video. Thanks for sticking to the end. Make sure to leave a comment, keyword turkey, for a chance at winning our giveaway. Stay tuned as we keep you updated on everything rap. See you next time on Lime Report.